Today, I wanna to come to you with classroomscreen.com. This video is not sponsored. I have no affiliation with classroomscreen.com, but let's check it out. So I've gone ahead and made a trial account, and I will say right up front, the cost is not prohibitive. I know teachers will ask about the cost. So if you do want to upgrade to a paid account, the cost is $29 US per year, which adds up to about $2.50 per month. All right, so with that out of the way, let's try making our first classroom screen. I hit create new screen and I can select this image and I've got a beautiful forest background. So the first thing I notice is that we can do some drawing and we can really add whatever we want by way of the pencil. So that might come in handy. I'm not thinking of anything that I would necessarily do with the pencil or the marker right away, but I'm sure that would come in handy. So that's the first thing that we can do. Let's go ahead and stop annotating. Next we can, oh, okay, yeah. We can change the background right here so we can go to something more Halloween-like or more of a dreamscape, a desert scape, whatever we want. Okay, oh, those are great. Next, we can add a poll. I think this is really fun. So all of these little widgets come with options. Now, again, if I haven't made it clear yet, this idea, this website would be up on your big screen at the front of your classroom, right? So as students come in, let's say, maybe you are giving them a question like multiple choice and you're saying, what game should we play during our flex period today? And maybe you've got capture the flag or dodgeball or I'll just say nerdle for the for the sake of time. That's not really a game, but let's go. Let's go with that. So we can close vote, hide, res, hide results, remote voting, which is they're going to use their device to vote and different types of we got bar, pie, or donut. What's the donut? Oh, I see. So let's go with the pie chart. No, I like the bar graph. Okay. And this is now live. Now, students, let's see if I can zoom in on that there. Yeah, students can log in at joincrs.com and use this code and then go ahead and vote. And is this a QR code generator? Oh yeah, you can put that up on the screen as well. That's great. So for younger students, it may be helpful. Or if you're an iPad class, it may be more helpful to put up the QR code. All right, and let's see. Yes, I can, I love that. Look, I can, I can stretch it out in a rectangular way or I can make it more of a square. Some good options here. Can I actually make this a, can I give it a color background? Oh yeah. Okay, you've got some color possibilities here. These widgets are so customizable. That I think that's one thing that makes me excited about these widgets. Let's keep going. So that was our poll. We've got a randomizer. So let's throw some names in here. Abigail, Benji, Charles, Darwin, Edward, Fiona. I'm just going alphabetically here. Gary, Harold. <laughs> okay, and continue. And do we want, yes, let's enable sounds and animations. Now you probably won't hear the sounds because I've got my AirPods in here, but no, we need a different color for the, the randomizer. So let's say that you're doing something in your class. Maybe you're calling on students or you're doing some kind of activity. I just think that's handy for them to see it on the screen, right? Now, if you're wondering about a group randomizer, that is coming up here as well. They have a group randomizer here too. Where is the sound level in your class? And right now it's picking up my voice and I can set it so that there is an alarm. I can even set the alarm. So if you can't read that, you've got hotel bell, ping high, ping low, gong, buzzer, raindrop. That's fun. So different sounds if the volume level gets too high in the room. My microphone is active, picking up my voice. And we can add an image. To, okay, I'm hearing, I'm gonna turn off the alarm of this. And what did I, oh yes, so I can throw any image up on the screen. So something I was thinking about is, let's say I have students working on an activity. Let's say I gave them my learning map activity on Google Classroom. One option would be to just take a screenshot and just copy and paste it right in. Here's my activity. Students are working away. We don't want to distract them too much with the poll, so we'll shrink that. And then you can make this front and center and you've got your randomizer. Now that's a very boring image, obviously. You could put up something fun. This is not a great example, but there we go. All right, so I'm adding a picture of me. I could add whatever picture I want and 
pretty versatile. I'm sure you're thinking of better examples right now. So you can add a picture of yourself or the class mascot or something related to your school or a sign that says fire drill today or whatever you want. And then you can add some text. So good morning, students. I'm so glad you're here. One of my colleagues has this message on her projector screen, actually, as students come in. She's not using classroomscreen.com. She has her own slides, but I think it's just so nice to give students that reminder. Now, what am I doing wrong here? To oh, I made the font that color. How do I change the background color? Oh, here we go. We have more color options. Yeah, everything is just so clickable and quick. I think it, I think that's what I love about this service is it's just quick and responsive. Like everything just works very well. Work symbols. Oh, this is fun. So silence, whispering, asking neighbor. If you can't see that, let me blow that up here. Let's get rid of the picture for now. What if you could just put this up on your screen very, very quickly and students have that visual reminder of your expectation. Right now we're working together. You're asking a neighbor, whispering, silence. And don't worry if you like the traffic lights, that is coming as well. Let's keep going. Work symbol, okay, traffic light is the next one. Now, I like to make the traffic light yellow and you can add descriptions, by the way. So red means shh, no talking. Click the red light and it's no talking time. Just leave that up on your classroom screen or maybe it's green, work time or collaborative time or something like that. Okay, you've got your timetable for the day. So again, I'll try to demo this quickly, but let's say you've got homeroom time and then you've got science class and then maybe you've got PE and then you've got recess and students can just look up like i like how the times are all embedded here let me blow that up for you students can sort of look up and just see oh yeah here's where we are in the day nice and easily those colors are awful oh you can make them transparent as well that's fun get rid of that settings bar okay my classroom screen is getting a little a little bit cluttered so let's just move some things around what's going on today science pe and then because the time is 9.43 right now when I'm recording live, it's saying that it's science class. Let's keep going. I do like the timetable and maybe because I, I lean on my calendar quite closely in my professional practice, but I do like the calendar, the timetable. Now we have a timer. Now Google, if you're a homeroom teacher, you probably know that Google gives us timers, but they're very basic. Let's see if this one has any other features. Oh, okay, I see. So we can adjust the number very quickly, five minutes, and the timer's working, and we can resize it like this. Oh, or like this. See how it, like the timer just keeps working no matter how I stretch this around. Love it. Can go up here and change the settings. Show a red indicator when time has reached the last 25%. Okay. New timer widgets. Show time in the browser tab. Oh, fun. So you could do this and actually make it show up in the tab so you can keep an eye up here. This might be off screen for you, dear viewer, but you can keep an eye in your tab. So if you are in a different tab, you can see what your timer is at. And then you can change the sound that goes off when the timer is up. Don't terrify your students by, by having an air raid siren go off right when they're in the middle of working. Okay, and then we've got a clock. Yeah, sometimes kids just want to know the clock. And I've actually been in classrooms where maybe the clock is not working or the batteries needs to be in, need to be changed or there never was a clock. So you can just have the clock going there. What's going on today? So again, I keep saying it, but I just love how fluid everything is. Like I'm just resizing and moving things around and it's just effortless. I mean, what you see is what you get. So great. Next, more. There is a bunch, there are is a bunch of additional features. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to show you the randomizer. Let's pump out some name. Oh, I think I pasted them. We got them on my clipboard. Yes. Good move, Tim. Yes, I'm talking to myself. We've got the group randomizer. Now, if you're a fan of building thinking classrooms, you remember that Peter Liliadal, the author, says that it's not enough to just make groups randomly before students come into the room. You've got to do it in front of them so they can actually see that they are random. So here we go. Create groups. There we go. These are your groups, everyone. Go to your stations. Shuffle. No, Mr. KV, I hate these groups. That's too bad. Your partner is amazing. Get to know them. All right. Yeah. Group maker. Never mind having to visit the randomizer website for your groups. 
There it is. I am loving this website. I am not a subscriber yet, but I am quickly talking myself into it as I make this video. Video. So we can actually, I played with this a little bit before the broadcast. You can actually bring in a YouTube video. So I'm going to go off screen here for a moment and just grab a URL from one of my recent videos. And I'll show you what it looks like to embed it. It's pretty seamless. Here I am. So enter a YouTube link, play video. So this is a recent conversation that I had. What does a coaching mindset look like in professional observation? Look at how smooth, how look at how smooth that is. It's just effortless. Like it, it, it means that I can set up a, I can sort of queue up a, a learning opportunity or learning activity. I've got my success criteria, my learning target over here. I've got my video. I've got my randomizers. I've got my traffic light. I've got my timer, whatever I need. Like you can just put it all up on the screen. It's great. Okay. I'm gushing. I'll stop. I'll stop. Dice. Can we change this? Can we change this to two dice? Yes. Or three dice. Excellent. Oh, you can even use this is a premium. Okay. So this is great for probability stuff in math, but many other uses as well. Okay. What other features are included? There's a webcam. I'm not sure. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, streaming video from the class. I guess that could have its uses. I'll probably think of great uses right after this broadcast, but let's get rid of the video. My screen is getting a bit cluttered here. So many great features. I love the randomizer. I do go to other websites. I don't know about you, teacher, but I do go to other websites for group randomizers. And I just love the idea that it's just right there on your screen. Event countdown. Oh, okay. All right, so you've got like, a big school event coming up in a week. You can count it down every week or pardon me every day. How many days remaining kind of idea. You've got a stopwatch. So I showed you a countdown timer. You've also got a stopwatch. Okay, class, let's see how long it takes us to stack our chairs and put all of our books away or something that I do with my sixth graders is planking. Can we plank for one minute or more? The timer's going. Love it. The QR code. Okay. If you enter a URL, it's going to create a, a QR. That would be really helpful, again, if you're in an iPad classroom. You wanna get your students to a website. How do you do that without a good LMS? Just put the URL here, URL here, and then generate a QR code for that. Stickers, so you just wanna have some fun. Happy Halloween, everyone. Boo, okay, <laughs> yes. Let's explore that briefly. What kind of other stickers do they have? Make sure you have your Chromebook, everyone. This is Chromebook time. You can add stickers of different kinds and they might mean, they might be a symbol or they might just be a cheery decoration. So many different widgets. If you use classroomscreen.com, let me know. Am I overlooking any features or widgets here that I, maybe I could be using? I think I am sold, my friends, on classroomscreen.com. Again, I am not, let's pull this off of Screen share. Yeah, I am not sponsored by classroomscreen.com and I have no affiliation with them, but I, again, this feature, this tool was recommended to me by Ashley Bodner, a former podcast guest here on Teachers on Fire. She recommended it as a tool that she uses every single day. So thank you for that, Ashley. And I am finally exploring the tool a little bit more and I'm very impressed. So check it out, do yourself a favor. Classroomscreen.com does offer a 14 day free trial with a Gmail address. So if you wanted to act in true teacher fashion, you could utilize every one of your Gmail addresses <laughs> for, for a few weeks. They probably don't like me saying that, but I do think that the premium price, what I saw there a few moments ago of less than 250 a month is a pretty good deal, pretty decent deal, especially if your school or district is willing to cover that. Thank you for joining me for this fun tutorial, this exploration of classroomscreen.com, and I'll see you next week on, a, uh, on another Teachers on Fire live tutorial. Take care, Teachers on Fire. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.